Hey guys, last time in our joining geometry video, we took a round cylinder and connected it with a square peg or, or kind of like a, you know, a square peg in a round hole, so to speak. And in this video, I want to show you how to join these two pieces of geometry. And we're going to go about it in a slightly different way than we did last time. But as you can see, they're two totally different pieces of geometry and we could just take this and move it down like this and then let it get lost in the model people probably never notice but if but if if it's going to be for professional work or especially for animation you need to join your pieces of geometry and not just have floating geometry in there like that okay for still shots and stuff like that a lot of times it's fine but other times it's not so it's a good practice to start to try to join your geometry when all possible. And we're going to do this by using, not using balloon, booleans this time. Last time we used booleans to join our geometry using the union boolean. This time we're just going to do it manually. Okay? So as you can see, I have two meshes here. Top cylinder and the bottom cylinder is in the background. I'm going to take the bottom cylinder and put it on top. That way, this cylinder on top is the background mesh, as you can see, because it's on the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to take my bottom cylinder. I'm going to go up to snapping. Actually, you know what? We're going to do something else first. Let's go to polygon mode. And let's select that top polygon there. And hit the B key to activate your bevel tool. And click. Okay? This will bring up your bevel tools. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to give this a lip. Instead of doing it the other way, we're going to do it this way. Let's go ahead and bevel out like this, and that will give us a lip to our geometry, okay? I'm going to hit the space bar to drop the tool, and before I deselect anything, I'm going to hit the delete key. And that's going to delete the geometry on top there, so now I just got a ring of geometry of polygons going around the side, okay? So now that I've got this selected, and I have this top cylinder in the background, I'm going to go up to snapping, constrain to background. I want to make sure it's on vector. And then I'm going to go in here and select the polygons that I want to manipulate. Okay. Call up my move tool. Now you'll notice since I have constrained the background on and the cylinder on top is in the background since it's on the bottom, when I pull this up you'll see it's going to suck right to that geometry. Like that right there. You see that? Ain't that beautiful? Now it's constrained right there to that geometry. Now we can cut this out with Command X and put it back in our other mesh with this one. And now you can see that the geometry is rightly conformed to our top cylinder. So now let's go ahead working on joining these together. Let's go to polygon mode. I'm going to select every piece of geometry that our bottom cylinder is interacting with and delete it. Okay. Now I'm going to select two cylinders up along the middle. As you'll notice I have two loop slices on either end of the cylinder here. And I'm going to call up my loop slice with alternate C. I'm going to put it position to 50%, count of 1, and click. And that will put our little loop slice right up the middle. Now the reason I've done that is, if I go to edge mode and double click the inside edge here, it highlights it. And you'll see down here, I have eight edges. Okay. If I take this thing, this loop slice, and delete it, and select the inner edge. I just have six edges. So I needed that loop slice in the middle there to create eight edges instead of six. And the reason I need eight edges instead of six is if I double click the edges on the bottom cylinder you'll see there's eight edges. So I wanted eight here and eight here. And the reason for that is if I double click both these edges here and then I right click and select bridge it's going to bridge them beautifully for me because we have the same amount of edges on both pieces of geometry. Now in future videos I'll show you how to join geometry that doesn't have the same amount of edges. Okay? So now that we have that, we can go ahead and start running some loop slices in here. So let's go ahead and put one loop slice in on mode of free. We'll put it up close to the top here like this. And then we'll run a loop slice around this little loop of geometry. Like that. And if we want to, we can put one along the edge over here just to hold these edges, just for continuity's sake. And now, if you look and see, 
we have a good clean join there of our geometry. Okay, if you look, everything looks good. Everything's really nice and flows. The geometry flows really well. So let's see here. Let's pull down our commands here. Let's go to our properties. I want to up our subdivision level to about four. Subdivide at one time. Let's turn our wireframe off. And you'll see we have a beautiful join right there, if you'll notice. Really, really splendid. Okay? So this is how another method of joining geometry. Um, I hope you've took something from this. As you can see, there's a little trouble here. But all that can be fixed. I didn't really I wasn't really concerned with stuff like that as I was so much about showing you how to join two pieces of geometry. Okay? So there we go. That's that. And we'll see you in our next video when we'll try to join up a little bit more stubborn pieces of geometry. And we'll try to <coughs> make our geometry flow a little bit better. And when I say flow a little bit better, we're going to try and keep the shape a little bit. As you can see, this shape here is deforming a little bit. And um, let me go ahead and delete that bottom. Like so. <clears throat> there. And we could take our time and, you know, kind of mold out our mesh a little bit more. But I think you all get the general idea. So there we go. There's how you join geometry or another method of joining geometry. And now we don't have floating geometry. As you can see, this is all one piece now. Okay? Hope you took something from this, guys. Sorry if it's a little sloppy, but I hope I got the point across. Thanks for watching.